Greetings everybody and welcome back to the video. In this video, I want to show you how you guys can get started with Apache Hoodie, Glue as Hive Metastore, Spark and DBT. The goal of the video is to make the integration easier for you and get started in matter of minutes. In this video, we're going to be using AWS Glue 4 image and we're going to spin that up using Docker Compose. We're going to excite into the container, launch a thrift server, which will be running on port 10,000, which will allow us to connect against the Glue Hive Metastore, run SQL queries using Beeline, of course. Then we're going to set up a sample DBT project, which will use Spark thrift server to connect to it. And then we're going to build our hoodie transactional data lake. I hope you're excited. So let's get st started. All right, so the first step is we need to configure our AWS profile. So we can do that by following commands. So we're going to say AWS configure minus, uh, minus minus profile and the name of the profile is going to be glue for. Please insert your AWS access secret. The region is going to be US East one. Output would be JSON and hit enter. I already have created a profile, but I wanted to walk you over the steps. Step two, you need to make a small change in the Docker Compose file. So I'm going to be showing you that change. Uh, when you clone the project directory, you will be given this Docker Compose file and there will be um, uh, on line 22, there will be volumes and here simply replace your path where your AWS uh, profile is, right? My AWS profile is in the folder user, Salmul Shah and under the folder .aws. So make sure you replace this particular path. Step three, we need to uh, spin up the container. So we're going to be using the command Docker Compose up hyphen hyphen build and you can also add minus d and now as you can see my aws glue 4 container has been started now please note this container is about 2 to 3 gigabytes in size so it can take up to 15 to 20 minutes depending upon your internet speed connection now we need to go inside the container either you can use the terminal or you can use the docker desk desktop i'm gonna be showing you using docker desktop and all the uh, resources and all the commands are given on my github readme page and the linkedin blog so now i'll basically show you the commands so now let's go to uh, over here as you can see in the container section i can see my glue jupyter container and here i'll click on exec and now here i'm gonna cd into home glue user and into the directory called spark ls i'm into that directory now we would be launching a thrift server. Now let's take a look at the command. So I'm gonna collapse this. So inside S bin, we're gonna be uh, starting start hyphen thrift server dot shell. And to that, we are gonna pass these configuration and we're gonna use this package. And the package is org dot apache dot hoodie, hoodie hyphen spark 3.3 hyphen bundle underscore 2.12 0.14.0. This uses um, Apache Hoodie 0 0.14 and uses Spark 3.3 bundle. So now copy this and go inside the container and simply paste it. And here you can see your thrift server has been now started. Now this step is optional. If you want to run simple SQL queries, you can connect to your Glue Hive Metastore using Beeline. And I'll really very quickly show you the command. So this is going to be Beeline minus U JDBC Hive 2 uh, colon slash slash localhost 10,000. And then of course the database name and here you can see uh, now i'm connecting uh, to uh, my thrift server so hopefully it should be done in a matter of a um, couple of seconds and as you can see now i'm connected right so show databases and again this is querying your glue um, hive mera store again as if you go to glue uh, come here if i go to a database and as you can see i have these two so again it is querying your glue hive mera store here all right, so the next step now is to uh, configure your virtual environment and install some dependencies. Uh, I have already done that, but I'm gonna show you the steps. But if you go to my GitHub, these steps will be there, okay? So yeah, following command, right? Python minus M, um, you're gonna say Python minus M when dbt env, this is gonna create a virtual environment. After that, activate the virtual environment, then do a pip install dbt core, okay? Then do pip install dbt spark, and at the end, do pip install dbt spark pi hive. Make sure all of these dependencies have been installed. Now, assuming that these dependencies are installed, now I'm gonna show you the next step, which is initializing the project and setting up the profiles.yml. All right, so let's take a look at the dbt project now, right? So here I'll be using, again, as you can see, my virtual environment has been activated. I'm gonna use the command dbt init, and this will ask me a couple of prompts. Enter a project name, so I'm gonna say, 
demo spark hoodie that's the name i'm gonna give and here now it's asking me which database would you like to use i'm gonna be using number two which is spark enter your host so my host is gonna be localhost uh so now it's asking me okay how would you want to authenticate so we're gonna use number three which is thrift server now the port is gonna be 10,000, remember and the schema we're gonna use the word uh, default and hit enter uh, threads just hit enter and that's it your project has now been configured as you can see dbt spark demo we're gonna go inside that oops uh, let's do cd demo hoodie spark okay now what i want you to do is remove all the files we don't really need analysis folder seeds folder uh, i guess snapshot folders test folders and macro right i'm just gonna remove everything so now if you see the only the only uh, two things that i have is dbt project.yml and models folder now let's create a very simple model a dbt model again hello world right uh, inside model there's a folder called example inside example create a new file and name the file as hoodie underscore insert underscore table dot sql okay and now what i want you to do is after that simply come here and copy these lines and i'll explain you what these are doing so again we are gonna be using apache hoodie the table type or the file format is gonna be hoodie unique key is gonna be id and if you observe we're just generating some fake data and we're gonna create this particular table now what i want you to do is in the schema.yml okay in the schema.yml i'm gonna collapse this okay in the current directory you see we have a for, uh, we have a file called hoodie insert table.sql right so we are defining that in the model right so we are saying that this is a table that i want you to create okay uh, it has a column called id uh, and the test that i would want to perform is make sure that is unique and it's not null right that's all just making sure that um, you guys uh, make these two changes so inside the example folder there has to be only two files hoodie insert underscore table dot sql and schema dot yml and again in the sql that, that that particular file we simply have using uh, you know a random and we just generating some you know random number and then we are going to create this particular table that we defined in the model section now we are almost there now one thing i want to do is after you do this changes make sure you verify your uh, dbt uh, profiles.yml and i'm going to show you that particular step right now on your terminal you can go to the dbt folder ls and i'm going to do open dot and here you can see my profiles.yml file right and i just want to show you that you have these configuration so whatever your project name is, uh, again, my project name was dbt spark hoodie, right? Make sure um, the host is localhost, method is thrift, port is 10,000, schema is default, thread is one, and type as spark. Again, just making sure that you have this particular uh, profile uh, in the profile.yml. Now what? We just gotta run dbt debug and dbt run, and this should do all the magic for us. All right, so dbt debug. Uh, again, uh, make sure your container is running, okay? Your Google container is running and that's where the thrift server is running, okay? So, yeah, as you can see, now I got all checked past, right? Um, makes sense. And now, um, I just want to show you that, you know, uh, in the glue, uh, I, I don't have any table with that particular name, insert override, no, insert table, hoodie table, right? So, I just wanted to show you that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say dbt run. And again, this will take a couple of seconds, hopefully, and uh, this will uh, basically create that particular um, table in my glue catalog, and I should be able to query that as well. So again, it's running one-on-one, -on -one, SQL incremental model. Again, makes sense, hoodie insert table, right? And again, it is using Spark in the backend, and completed, congratulations. Very good, if you come to AWS Glue. Hey, look at that, you got a table, huh? All right, you see the hoodie metadata, and then you see that ID. So now, um, since you see that table in the glue catalog, of course you can run queries against that. I'm not gonna be using Athena, but I'm just gonna connect that using Beeline because Athena will again dump results on S3. So now, as you can see, I'm connecting uh, to my glue hive meta store using Beeline. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say show databases. And then as you can see, I see that, and I'm gonna say use uh, default. And then I'm gonna do show tables. Uh, as you can see, I have that right now. I'm gonna say select every, oops, select everything from, and I'm gonna put this particular name. 
congratulations right dbt hoodie spark hopefully this guide helps you and made your overall process easier so now you guys can learn you guys can experiment you guys can play with it i hope this video was useful all the necessary steps and resources would be there on my github and also on my linkedin on the blog section thank you very much for watching the video i hope you have enjoyed and if you have any further questions let me know your questions by the way i'm also working on one big video which is going to be a real world data engineering project so you saying i uh, just want to let, let you know if you want to watch that so that's going to be like we're going to be having postgres we're going to bring a lot of tables using um, dbcm into kafka topic and from there we have delta streamer which is going to ingest data into the bronze layer then again from the bronze layer we're going to have delta streamer which is going to read data in an incremental fashion build silver tables and from there we're going to have dbt which is going to build the gold layer again these are actual real world projects that i'm i'm going to make and hopefully you guys learn from it thank you so much and i'm going to see you in the next video